the title is we're going to keep asking what change are you I see this is a video made by a Bishop Nathaniel and Bunyamian, priest Bunyamian, more than 25 years ago. And uh, you can see Bishop Nathaniel, that's what he's called today. You can see him and uh, Bunyamian breaking down the name of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh. So check it out. Why? Because when you call on the true name of the Most High, that's power. That is power. The angels stand up when they hear that name. Okay, Real, the Most High's name is dreadful amongst the other nations, but amongst you Israelites, you're supposed to adore and cherish his name. It says, for whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh <laughs> shall be saved. Give him a name which is above every name. What's that name? Yahweh Shai. Why is that name above every name? Because the Father's name is in his name. Yahweh, the sound of Yahweh is in his name. What's that name? Yahweh Shai meaning he saves. Right, so there, you see Nate right there, okay? He was at one point in time, he was teaching the truth. Then, um, you know, many years later, you know, after he became commercialized and got a big following, now this is his uh, stance. It's called Israelites, don't be fooled by it. That, that, that's why I scorn when I hear somebody say, you how about you? Soon as I hear it, I know the spirit of evil is there. I've not seen one righteous man but use that term, not one. Every one of them, evil, malice, guile, gossip, every last one of them. Okay? Give me Acts 13. I'm going to take it down. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash, and your double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings. As well as to all you out there out there who pushing his word with all truth and sincerity. And as well as to all you believers out there who believe in the gospel. And it's the brother Kwara Abai from the GMS Houston camp. And uh, sitting here, man, uh, before I go ahead and walk into the job, <clears throat> so like and uh, doing a little reading and, uh, and man, the chapter I read today, Deuteronomy 13, is uh it kind of it's perfect timing you know for from what uh you know the apostles elders and brothers been posting concerning iuic you know now when you go into deuteronomy the 13th chapter it goes into the judgment of those who incite idolatry <laughs> you know they say inciters of riots so on and so forth right people that stir others up you know to do certain things well deuteronomy the 13th chapter there's a chapter going into the law. If you have Israelites who incite or stir other Israelites up or persuade other, other Israelites to do what? To go worship other gods. You see? To go worship other gods, man. And what is how you are see doing? They inciting our people to call on Most High and Christ bless. Most High and Christ. Jesus. When, when it was Bishop Nate, as again, as uh, the elders in Dallas posted the whole lesson last night of Bishop Nate teaching uh, back in the day, teaching the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And it was edifying. When I first came into the, to the truth, that was one of the lessons that I seen that convinced me that the actual names <laughs> of the Mosai was Yahweh and his son name was Yahweh Shai. But as the uh, Apostle Gabal said, Nate, Bishop Nate, what changed? I U I C. What changed? You know? But nevertheless, I do want to get this and read this law to see what happens to men who take away the name from uh of the Heavenly Father from Israelites and try to put that that vibration or the name of another God on his people. And it's the thing, because I U I C can say, well, we ain't pushing the white Jesus. You know, we ain't pushing, you know, what the world say Jesus is. We pushing the real uh, son of the God, the black Jesus. But look, when you say Jesus, just in that itself is taken away from his, his his whole image, his whole his whole stance, what he believed in, you know, what he was all about. When you say Jesus to our people, they think of that same soft vibration, 
you know, just God love everybody. You can come do what you want type power. They, that's not a fearful power, man. Our people, especially, man, come on, man, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, our people need fear. Our people need a God like the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai, austere men, disciplined men, man, who have a standard. Jesus don't got no standard. And look why Jesus got our people today living like a, uh, living without a standard, man. Black culture, deaf. Our people need a, need a God like the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai, strict powers, man. That's the name we're supposed to be giving to our people. That's that energy we're supposed to be pushing. The energy of fear and what the Lord about to do so our people can repent, man. With Jesus, don't come fear. You see, but again, I'm going to hop into it. And again, Bishop Nate, you know, Bishop Nathaniel, he once taught the name. If I was an IUIC follower, I would be considering why did he stop? What changed? Was it, you know, what you got the bag, the Judas bag, the 501c3, what changed? But nevertheless, I want to get this first, though, in uh, Second Chronicles, because right before I was about to start the lesson, this popped in my spirit. Now you had King Amaziah, right? The king of Israel, because he ate. Hey, again, Bishop Nathaniel, he once taught the name, then eventually fell away and started teaching Jesus, man. Now he got many thousands of Israelites doing the same thing, man. Whew. Right? But anyway, King Amaziah, he started ruling Israel. He started off right. You know, he started off on point, but then <laughs> he went there, he went ahead and worshiped the guys of Edom. Now, what's the God of Edom today? Jesus, man. Sweet, baby, sweet baby Jesus, man. But let's get this real quick. Then I'm going to get Deuteronomy 13 because I got two minutes, literally two minutes. till I got to <laughs> go on a job. But nevertheless, Second Chronicles 25 and, and 1, it says, And Amaziah was 20 and five years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 29 years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Johadan, Johadan of Jerusalem. It says, and he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. So he was on point at one time. Bishop Nate was on point at one time. But check this out. Because as you see in the Apostle Gabal video, Bishop Nate, he was on point. He was teaching Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But in the video, even he kept saying Yahweh name, but then he'll refer to the Lord as Christ here today. Here and there. Right? And Apostle Gabal said, hey, maybe he might not be of Yahweh Shai. That's a sign if you keep saying Christ. And the point I bring that up, because right here, although King Amaziah was doing right, it says, and he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, but not with a perfect heart. <laughs> Come on, man. Not with the perfect heart. You ain't really meaning it. You know, you got other st other stuff going on that you, you know, you see, not with the perfect heart. So you see King Amaziah started off right. And it says, now it came to pass when the kingdom was established to him that he slew his servants that had killed the king, his father. So he was established. Now, let's read what happened when he was established. Hey, again, IUIC, Bishop Nate. Before IUIC was established, he was on point. Now, once it got established, let's go down. Right? Let's go down. This is what happened to King Amaziah once he got established. It says, and I'm going to jump around. I, you know, it's a couple of stuff to read up in here, but I'm going to try to get straight to the point because I want to get to that Deuteronomy 13, you know, and read the law. But uh, so we see King Amaziah, he started off good. He was set up, but this eventually what happened. Verse 14. Second uh, Chronicles 25 and 14, it says, Now it came to pass after that Amaziah was come from the slaughter of the Edomites, right? So-called white people, it says that he brought the gods of the children of Seir. So after he destroyed the Edomites, he, he brought their gods with him. And what the Most High said, once you go, you know, to a place, don't bring the gods unless you be a cursed thing with you. Well, look, how much more the name of that God? And you invoking that in your prayers? You invoking that as you prophesy and teach? How much more of that? Come on, man. So it says, uh, now it came to pass after that Amaziah was come from the slaughter of the Edomites that he brought the gods of the children of Seir. <laughs> Jesus was probably, you know, Quas, you know, the Quas, the big nose Edomite God. It says that he brought the gods of the children of Seir and set them up to be his gods. He started calling on them now. 
Again, he once was right in the sight of the Lord, Yahweh. <laughs> like Bishop Nate said, he was right. He once was right in the sight of <clears throat> the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. But eventually he started worshiping and calling on other gods. Mainly of Edom. And the main Edomite God today is Jesus the Christ, as they say. It says it set them up to be his gods and bow down himself before them and burnt incense unto them. Mm. Now they hear that they doing videos saying his name. Right. You know, <laughs> and just putting dreads on him and turning his long dreads and turning his skin black and says Jesus. Right. No. Again, that same image that this world got when they hear Jesus that in our people, that's the same Image or person or deity they go think about even if they come into the truth, but with your shy is a totally different vibration, man. Okay, test it out for yourself. Go to Google, just type in Jesus and look at look at the images you get. A soft guy, just soft, you know, soft. But type in your shy and just look at the austerity. And just in Google pictures, how much more real life, man, real vibrations, real energy being pushed out. And they pushing that that name of Jesus, invoking that on their believers. <laughs> you making your congregation a cursed thing like unto Jesus. Your, your whole name is Most High Christ Blessed. Come on, man. But it says that he took the gods of Edom and worshipped them. I'm going to jump down. Verse 26. Now the rest of the acts of Amaziah, first and last. Behold, are they not written in the book of the kings of Judah and Israel? Now, after the time that Amaziah did turn away from following the Lord, they made a conspiracy against them in Jerusalem. Hey, Bishop IUIC turned their back from following the Lord. And Bishop Nathaniel, he'd been sickly. And what he said, somebody poisoned them. <laughs> I ain't laughing at that. But the point I'm laughing at, because right here after Amaziah turned away, it says that they made a conspiracy against them in Jerusalem. So, hey, and look, man's goings are the law. So even if somebody did poison Bishop Nate or whatever, that's of the Lord. Because right now, men about to go kill Amaziah, and that's of the Lord. It says, now, after that, Amaziah did turn away from following the Lord, that they made a conspiracy against him in Jerusalem, and he fled to Lachish. Right? Stop showing his face. <laughs> right? King Amaziah fled, which is what? Stop showing his face on the videos modern times. And he fled to Lachish. But they sent to Lakish after him and slew him there. Come on, man. So let's go to the law to see that it's in the law. Hey, if an if Israelite either go worship another God or incite others, other Israelites to do so, the judgment is death. And we in a time the law are handing it out free smoke. Wrap the news. Free smoke. You know? This Deuteronomy 13 and 1, it says, If there arise... Among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams and give of thee a sign or a wonder. I, you, I see they, they proclaim themselves to be the prophets when flying uh, uh, Africa and waking up the, the 12 tribes, right? It says, and if the sign or the wonder come to pass, whereof he spake unto thee. So if you have a man, an Israelite come to you, say, look, man, I man, you know, this voodoo is working. I'm telling you, you need to get on it. And he show you a little something at work. He's like, I told you, in Jesus, boy, it's that power of Jesus. <laughs> right? If, if, if he say something in the name of a other God, it may look prosperous. Congregations may be big. Nice garments. It says, where if he spake, saying, let us go after other gods, which thou hast not known, and let us serve them. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet, or that dream of dreams for your, for the Lord, your how will your power prove of you? Right? And it says, and your power with all, it says, and for, so like it, I'm reading fast. I'm getting excited. It says, for the Lord, your how will your power prove you to know whether you love your how will your power with all your heart and with all your soul. Ye shall walk after the Lord, your how will your power. And IUIC say, look, they love the commandments. Keep the commandments. This is a commandment. Most high in Christ blessed, that's not a commandment to call on that, man. It said, um, let's continue. It says, and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice and you shall serve him and cleave unto him. And that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death. Why? Because he have spoken to turn you away from Yahweh, your power. 
And what's the way of being turned away from Yahweh, our power, by saying most high or just God? What's another way of being turned away from Yahweh, our power, by denying his son Yahweh Shai? Bishop Nate, you said it, his name is in him. The most high name is in Yahweh Shai. It's the scripture says, if you deny the son, you deny the father. So if you call the son Christ or Jesus, you denying him. Man, how would it be if, if somebody walk inside your UIC building and they refer to Bishop Nate as, as, as Bishop Yo Play Yogurt? They, they would be offended. How much more the most high, man? So when people see that we got a problem with others, how they plan on our power, the heavenly father and, and our Lord Jehovah Shai name, that's why we have a problem with it. Just like y'all will have a problem with it. If somebody call you out your name, we have a problem with people calling our power, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah out their name, man. Come on, man. So it says he got to die. It says in that prophet or that dream of dreams shall be put to death because he has spoken to you to turn you away from Yahweh, your power. Which brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of bondage, right? Jesus ain't do that, man. It says, to thrust thee out of the way which Yahweh, thy power, commanded thee to walk in. So shall thou put the evil away from the midst of thee. If thy brother, the son of thy mother, or thy son, or thy daughter, or thy wife of thy bosom, or thy friend, which is in thine own soul, entice thee secretly. <laughs> Amen. Watch this IUIC video. Right? Telling you, most high Christ bless. Shalom, brother. Entice thee secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which thou hast not known, thou nor thou fathers, right? We never knew Jesus in, the, in antiquity. It says, Namely, of the gods of the people which are around about you, hey, the good ship Jesus, right? It says, And, and nigh unto thee are far from thee, from the end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. Thou shalt not consent unto them, nor hearken unto them, neither shall thy eye pity him, neither shall thou spare him. And it's talking about if somebody come to you trying and get you to try to call on or worship another God, it says, neither shall thou conceal him, so expose him. It says, but thou shalt surely kill him. That's the judgment, man. But in this time, we ain't going to, you know, hand it out. We ain't in our land. You know, we ain't in our own sovereignty, so we can't actually... Um, you know, put in the play our laws, but the heavenly father could kill people. <laughs> he ain't gonna go to jail for it, right? And look, he's still abiding by his law. So therefore, if you're doing the same thing, what can only happen to you, man? This judgment that's written therein, death. Death. We supposed to be coming back to our power in captivity, right? Look, you like it on the Esau. Now you know how I said once we was at the end of our captivity, Esau fought it. The oppression, right? We supposed to be at the end of our captivity, waking up to who we are, and you trying to afford our oppression by keeping us here, man, with that same God that never worked for us in captivity. Come on, man. You helping forward the oppression. You helping keeping our people blind. Like it's saying, what, Malachi, you, you taking that skin up uh, uh, off him, you know? But it says, um, but thou shalt surely kill him. Thy hand shall be first upon him to put him to death and afterward the hand of all the people. And thou shalt stone him with stones that he die because he have sought to thrust thee away from Yahweh thy power, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. And all Israel shall hear and fear. If something happened to all you, I see that's going to shake all Israel. That's a, that's a, a major camp. Within this movement, man, it says, because he have sought to thrust thee away from your Yahweh, thy power, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, from out of the house of bondage, and all Israel shall hear and fear, and shall do no more any such wickedness as this among you. They're going to learn to stop playing with the Lord's name. Look, anyway, I'm going to leave it with that. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim and double honors unto the apostles. You know, and that was a great millstone. You know, those men who put the name of the Lord upon us. You know, like it's saying what that is, Hebrews 2. Hebrews 2, which, which just, you know, King David said it. That's what we're supposed to be doing, man. Uh, let's see. Hebrews 2, and it said, uh, declare. Yep, here it is. The Wadi Habashim Hashai. Hebrews 2 and... 11 it says for both he that sanctified and they who are sanctified are all one 
for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brother and talking about Yahweh shine is elect. And it says, saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the church. We supposed to be putting the name of your he the heavenly father, Yahweh, and Yahweh shine on these people, man. It says, unto the church will I sing praise unto thee, man. You know, but look with that law willingness lesson was that a fun. Hey, shallow one.